Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna make a small tutorial on grips. Now, there's two different ways to make grips. There is layering. I mean, you can't really see it here, but you can see it on the back. That makes for a very sturdy grip, and it's actually pretty heavy too. And I mean, I have added some additional things on this one, but um, and then there's box, which I'm about to demonstrate. Now, layering, I mean, I've already explained why it's good and everything, but it doesn't stick very well as seen with my MP40. The grip will wiggle, and I mean, you have to reinforce it, and it's just a real big pain. So, with box grips, what you want to do is cut out two of each grip. The reason these grips are so weird is because making the ray gun for the Call of Duty uh, World at War. Now, and you do want to make sure that, well, I mean, first, you know, cut out two same size. Now, what you want to do is get a ruler and measure on just a long piece of cardboard. You know, what, whatever will work. You want to measure out, I would say, no more than two centimeters. This is one and a half. Um, I like kind of thinner grips, but the problem is, and I see this with a lot of guns, people will make their grip like five centimeters thick, and you should be using centimeters. I mean, it's just a lot easier to use centimeters than inches. Um, and a lot of sites on the web are metric, not US customary, so it's just better to use centimeters. Um, anyway, I mean, I see a lot of guns out there with grips that are just like squares and are like five centimeters thick, and you can't get your finger tr to the trigger. And it, and it just looks like, I mean, it would be kind of sad. So, anyway, um, what you want to do is cut out, I would say, one to two centimeter. Well, I mean, you got to choose one measurement, but either like one centimeter or two centimeter, but, or maybe even three, anywhere in between. And if you have the actual measurement for the thickness of the grip, then just use that. Um, anyway, what you want to do is cut this out and then get your grip. Choose which one you want to glue it on. And since like this one's white and it's got tape on the white side, this is definitely going to be the inside. So I'm just going to use this one. Now, what you want to do is glue from here all around to here. Don't glue up here. So you want to do that, and before you glue it too, you want to get your uh, piece of cardboard and fold it so that it like fits on the grip, like already. I mean, it it will help a lot when you're making them. So anyway, put the glue on. And it'll help if you only do it to like a certain point, because um, because then you aren't as pressured and rushed to get the grip on. I mean, to get the um, cardboard on. And so you just start putting it on, make minding that you're as close to the edge as you can on it, and there's like no, or and you don't want. Well, I mean, I guess what I'm getting at is you want the grip and this to be, like, parallel. I don't know. So, yeah, um, anyway, just keep doing that until you have the whole thing glued on. And, yeah, it looks like I'm going to need more, but, um, and there's another thing, I mean, you might want to cut more of this stuff than 
you really need. Um, there. Now, you can also, if you're worried about the structural, the structural integri integrity, pardon me, of the grip, you might want to put cross braces, which would be like a line of cardboard here, one here, and one here. Now, don't put any on the top. Now, once you cut all this stuff out and the glue dries, um, make sure that there's a good gluing surface here, 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 and here. And that's really, really important because you want the grip to attach to the gun nicely. And I don't know why, but if it's just a square like this, or I mean a rectangle, whatever, four-sided figure, it sticks much better than using layering. Um, I was thinking layering might work because more surface area, but I was wrong there. I, I've never been good at math. So I hope this helped. Um, there will be more to come. And if you have any suggestions or requests, put those on. Um, I, I found that I actually really like doing this, so request them and I'll do it.